Hello, faculty. Today I'm going to try and show you how to set up a peer mark assignment so that your students can do peer review of each other's papers online. Um, this should make things easier for them and for you. The trick is that it requires setting up two assignments within uh, MyFire, so I'm going to show you how to do that, I hope. The first one is to add a resource, and we have to use a turn it in link from the assignments 2.2. What we're doing here is we're just creating an assignment where the students will turn in their papers. So no actual grading happens in this assignment. It's merely to get a pool of papers that the students can use to, um, to do the peer review with. Now you'll notice that it's asking us to select the assignment type, and so we're going to select a paper assignment at this point. You can see that um, all we're doing is saying we're going to upload papers to this. You can give it a title. For us, we're doing chapters, and um, then there's really no point value because I'm not going to grade this. Your trick is the start date. It will automatically start it today. Um, your due date is whenever you want to make that. Um, I'm going to make it for Friday. And then the post date, when the students can see their grades, I'm going to make that for Saturday. Okay, so now there are some optional settings here. Um, do you want to allow late submissions, all that stuff? I do allow late submissions, but that's totally up to you if you want to do that. All right, I click on Submit, and then we wait for it to create this assignment. So this is how it will look for your students. They'll click Submit to upload their papers. You'll be able to see over here how many papers have been submitted um, whenever you check on this. Now I'm going to go back to the week that we are editing, and I'm going to create the second Turnitin assignment. So I'm going to go to Add Resource, and back down here to Turnitin under Assignments 2.2. And this time, instead of creating a paper assignment, I'm going to create the peer mark assignment right here. All right, so we click that and we click next step. Now the trick here is that you have to select the assignment to base the peer review on. Um, I'm basing it on the chapters uh, because I want it to pull papers from that assignment for the students to do the peer review on. And for my class, they get 10 points for that. And basically, they award full points if the review is written. And I'll show you how Turnitin um, does that. All right, so I set the, um, the date on the other assignment to be due on the 15th, but things can be viewed on the 16th. So I'm going to change that to the 16th. These are going to be due at the um, on the 22nd. Okay, and then I can post. Um, I want to stay in November. I'm going to post on the 23rd. Okay, I'm going to click Save and Continue and hope I don't get any error messages. Okay, sometimes you'll get this late paper date. Just click on this link because otherwise you will never find the box. But when you click on that link, then it opens up something at the bottom. Um, which I'm hoping it will do soon. Let's see here under show more options. Okay, so the last date for papers to be submitted and still be included, um, I have to set that. So I'm going to say because the start date is the 16th, that it must, um, the 17th is the latest you can submit something late. I click save and continue. And notice that our error goes away. Now, each student will review. Um, if you have a class of 25 students, obviously you probably are not going to ask them to review all 24 that they could. Uh, in my class, I'm going to ask them to review three. And notice that this is in the box where the paper is automatically distributed by peer mark. You can change it so that students can select other student papers to review. You can also require them to self-review, although I'm not going to do that. But those are options. So I'm going to click Save. Okay, and then Save and Continue down here at the bottom. 
add questions. This is great. Um, I've already created questions in my library, and I guess I'll have to make another video on that. But um, you'll see that I have questions for the chapter and methodology peer review. So I just click that, and you'll see that it lists all the questions I've already put in my library. I have them in a certain order, although you can change the order and make it kind of random if you want to. I'm going to add all the questions. And this takes a little time to process. Okay, and I thought, oh yes, wonderful. Wonderful, it's done. Okay, so I don't want to be tricked here because sometimes I am. Okay, so here's the button for save and finish. And it does look like I have two sets of questions there, but I really don't. Once um, students have submitted their papers to the first assignment, okay, very important that they do that to the first assignment, which is right here, okay, then once the due date is up, then they can go to here to the peer mark assignment and they can uh, go in and do the peer review for their fellow students. And I've made a video on that. Um, so you'll find that in my channel on YouTube. Thank you for watching this. I hope it helps. And feel free to give me a call on campus here if you have questions.